this video is going to assist you with creating shape number three. Again, it does not matter um, how you choose to create the shape. These tutorials are just um, some videos that's going to assist you in creating the shape. So as long as you have the dimensions correct, then um, the, the way you create the videos really, I mean, the shapes really don't matter. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to do a new shape. And we're going to start with standard IPT. Anytime we create parts, we're going to start with the standard IPT. So you select create. All right. And so we're going to start with a standard 2D sketch. And I want to do a YZ plane. Again, it does not matter which plane you choose. However, um, if you find your shape done the wrong way, you can always navigate with this navigational box here. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we have a 2D sketch, and we are going to start with the front face of this, and we'll add on to it, okay? Um, anytime that you add on to a shape, you're doing what's called addictive modeling, and if it's um, taken away, it's subtractive modeling, just like adding and subtracting. So uh, for both, we use extruding. So if you're going to add to it, you're going to extrude. If you're going to take away, you're going to extrude cut. So in this uh, instance, we're going to extrude today. But first of all, we're going to start with our front-facing uh, shape, and we are going to draw the outline of the front face. So it's, all it is is the shape. All right, so the top portion of this, um, the first, the top dimension, make sure with it have dimensions on it. You can't create these shapes without dimensions because they have to be sized uh, properly. Okay, and anytime you use technical drawings, whether it be the freehand sketching on the isometric paper or the software, we have to have our dimensions, and we're using the triangles that are um, on the page. So, okay, so the height of this will be 1.25 because it's five triangles 0.25 times 5 is 1.25 all right and then the very bottom of this the bottom of this will be two okay All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish the sketch, and we're going to make it 3D by extruding, okay? And our extrusion will be 1.25. All right. Now, the color of this, of course, the color never matters, but I like to change the color before we add anything onto it. Um, and I'm going to change this to, um, let's see, a color that kind of stands out. Let's do like a light red because you'll be able to see when you add the other part to it. Okay. Now, this part is very important because we're going to go underneath. this part here and we're going to create the little box that's being added on okay all right so we're going to draw it on this side okay I hit the wrong side so we're, gonna, so we're going to draw it on this side right here and what we're going to do is we're going to get a rectangle and we're going to connect the corner here and we're going to draw it down okay and the dimensions of this is going to be this side is going to be 0.75 and this is going to be 0.75 
Okay. Now, once we're finished, we are going to finish the sketch and we're going to extrude this. Okay, we're going to push it the other way and the actual uh, extrusion of this will be 0.75. Okay. So let's go back because I extrude cut. All right, so for whatever reason, okay, let's extrude it. Hold on. Okay, now one thing that's going to happen is. It's going to take it away but what's going to happen is you will be able to actually draw this again just like this So you're going to go on this face here and you are going to go here and you are going to come here all right so your dimensions will be 0 0.75 same here You're going to finish the sketch. And there you go. It's going to extrude 0.75. You're going to hit home. And that is your shape for number three. So you can look at it. And you'll save it as save as shape 3 I'm going to save it here okay and then um, what we'll do is we will we have it saved and then you can go on to your next shape. 